what's up you guys this is Los from the big retro show and today i'm going to be playing some pumpkin jack this is a new game that was just released just in time for halloween so let's go ahead and check it out yeah, this game is currently for the pc for the xbox and for the Once nintendo switch time in the great arkansas kingdom the world lived in peace and coexistence I miss those days. The animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. It was an age of prosperity without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was so very boring. It sounds like a wonderful so boring, place. In fact, I would take boring compared to what's going on right now. Brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, Suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. The devil unleashed the curse of the eternal night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. Love the Halloween the vibes monsters here. laid waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse, and backwater town. It was beautiful, but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. So, they called upon their champion, a mighty wizard, a sorcerer with the skill... Final Fantasy 1 vibes here, guys. the devil's power. The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal night. Very well, the devil said. Two can play that game. And who knows, this might be the fun I've been looking for. So in response to the wizard's quest, he called upon a champion of his own. Stingy Jack, <laughs> history's greatest trickster and con artist. Banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. The devil crammed Stingy Jack's Jack, soul you know? into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage through the afterlife. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. There we go. Now that's a mission. Beautiful graphics. I don't know if you guys can fully appreciate this, but beautiful, beautiful graphics. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into this game, guys. Enough of the story stuff. Okay, so the left... This world is a mess. The devil meant what he said about total death and destruction. Okay. Controls are really good. They feel really good. Looks like it's doing fine as is, but he still needs me to get rid of the wizard. Okay. As you can see, this is essentially a 3D platformer. Set in this mystical land. Let's talk to this owl. Who, who, who? Look who bothered to show up. I trust you haven't already lost your brain in that gourd. Grown men have died for less than that, bird. Tardy and insubordinate. Not an amazing first impression, Jack. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm a servant of the devil, and I'm here to monitor your work. I love it. The devil hasn't forgotten your pension for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Nor should he. Just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast a chicken. Who, who, who? Just remember who gave you that fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Orientation? What kind of fool do you take me for? Oh, this is a tutorial. Classic tutorial. The kind who spent centuries in Core Palace. Now stop dawdling. It's time you get acquainted with your new form. Fine, fine, fine. 
Such a fine, fine feathered friend. Oh, what's over here? Whoa. I just died by going into the water. I guess he can't swim. And so the great Jack has fallen one time. I guess this game keeps track of how many times you've died. Okay. Mental note. Don't go into the water. Or, of course, you know, you'll die. You'll be wise to drink from these cauldrons. The primordial stew holds your new body together. Okay. Should I try jumping in the water again? Nah. Let's see what's up here. Ah, oh, double jump. Sweet. Yes. I love it when games let you double jump right off the bat. Look at that. Beautiful graphics. Simply beautiful. I can get lost in a world like this. New checkpoint drink, okay. Get a running start and double jump across the river. Easy enough. Drink a little bit of water here. Not bad so far, Jack. You've shaken off the cobwebs. <coughs> Excuse me. You really put them to the test from here. There will be monsters ahead. You shouldn't have any trouble fighting them at all. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some hands in. But why should they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? They can't be told anything, Jack. Monsters are mostly mindless miscreants. They can barely teach each other. They can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you. Is he trying to say I'm like ugly? Pumpkin or not, you're still human. That alone makes you their target. So that's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. This new enemy is clever, Jack. He needs someone just as clever. I see, and he doesn't mind that I'm cutting down his monsters. Hoo hoo hoo! They're practically worthless. <laughs> Do what you must. Get, just get the job done. Oh, achievement locked. Unlocked, I should say. I love exploring in games like this, where you find all the secrets. I haven't ran into any secrets yet, but then again, this is just a tutorial. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to the show, to the channel, please go ahead and do so right now, guys. It really helps me out. Ah, it gets back. It's back. Flap away, everyone. Flap for your lives. Oh, great. More birds. Let me through before I pluck you all raw. Stay away from a scarecrow. I've got claws and I can use them. Me, a common scarecrow? I am Jack, the greatest rogue to ever live. Well, wait. He's got legs. The scarecrow doesn't have legs. And his head isn't stuffed with straw. See, I'm no scarecrow. Now let me through, you corvid creeps. Fancy word. Caw! Not so fast. I s it seems the birds have the upper hand for once. We'll let you through, Mr. Jack, if you help us in return. At the mercy of the crow, what do you want? A scarecrow often appears at that barn just ahead. He's been terrorizing us for weeks. He's a menace to crow kind. And I suppose you want me to get rid of him. Do you guys know what 
a bunch of crows is called. It's called a murder. And it's time to murder some scarecrow ass. Yes, yes, and I'll help you to my boot. My wings are swift and my beak is sharp. Hmm, some air support could be useful. Very well, bird. Death to the strongest menace. Alright, I guess I got my first mission. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's kind of like my projectile. I like a game with a lot of checkpoints. This is like straight up Halloween town, guys. Let me just take a, a quick look around and to appreciate the graphics here. Straight up Halloween fall. I love it. Mostly rust, but I suppose any weapon is better than none. Okay. Nice, very nice. In some cultures, crow skulls are good luck and ward off evil. So there's 20, 20 in this level. Yeah, this game is definitely, you can tell like the developer put a lot of work into it. Just, this game is controlling, I don't know, you guys can't tell, but it's controlling beautifully. And I'm using a uh, Xbox controller for it. But, um, everything from like the graphics to the sound. It really just adds all to the uh, production value. Bust this door down, Jack. Okay, let's do it. Oh, not that door. That door. All right. I get you. I get you, my little Corvid friend. I'm getting, like, a lot of medieval vibes here. Which is good. Medieval is one of my favorite games on the PS1. Of course, it got remade. For the PS4. I don't have it yet. But I've been meaning to get it. Lots of platforming elements in here. Little things. It's little things like these collectibles are pretty cool. Dang. You have to forgive me here, guys. This is the first time I'm playing this game. So far, so good. So far, it's kind of easy. I'm sure this is going to change. What do you guys think of this game so far? It's just based on the limited gameplay that you've seen. <clears throat> wait, wait, don't hurt me. Hey, you can talk? Yes, I'm not here to hurt you, sir. Are you sure? You look like a monster to me. Rotten half-dead soulless. Of course, I'm a salesman. Yeah, same thing. Oh, well, not just want to kill you anyway. No, no, no. Stop. At least browse my wares first. What are you selling? Skins. I harvest the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear. Clothes, too. Alright. Well, I won't kill you, but I want a discount. By all means, please take a look. Alright, so what is... So that's my currently equipped. That's five crow... Oh, okay. So, this... so the crow skulls are money. So I can turn into the lumber, the cowboy... The samurai, the inspector, the skeleton, the buzzard, 
and the Pump King. The Pump King. Great, so I can't buy anything quite yet. So I gotta get out of here. And find some more skulls. Oh, I'm pretty sure that I'll find some along the way here. It's almost Halloween, guys. Have you guys carved your pumpkin yet? That's what I want to know. It's not the same this year as it has been. But there's still fun to be had. This is one of these games that gets you in the Halloween mood. And that's why I was like so interested in it. Yeah, total, total medieval vibes here. And that's a good thing, like I said. Let's reach that checkpoint. I wonder if this is one of these games where, like, each level has a set amount of these crow skulls. I'm betting that's probably how this game is going to work. Anyways, what games do you like? I mean, this is totally putting me in the Halloween mood, guys. This pumpkin head game. What games put you guys in the Halloween mood? So as we know that you can't jump in the water or else you'll die. Which means if I miss one of these jumps, it's a certain death. Ooh, thought I was going to fall there. But, luckily the controls are good, the camera is good. There's ways that you can uh, manipulate the camera though. Right now it's, it's uh, set on an automatic setting. So that you can move the camera around. And the camera will assist you when you need it most. gonna go and look over here to see if there's anything any of these bird skulls I, I'll tell you guys when I'm playing games like this I love exploring and this is just like there you go this this is just like a beautiful world to explore I don't know about you guys but I like being immersed in, in worlds like this So those guys, those zombie things, are like two hitter quitters. Let's see here. There's so much to look at. I mean, it's like a smorgasbord for your eyes. It's like this game is like very easy on the eyes, guys. Very easy. I'm 
digging the attacks too. It's pretty cool. Perhaps your new body isn't needed here. Hop out for a minute and look inside. Hop out of my body? Of course, your new body is a shell. It's just a shell. You can always use your head. You mean he can't get out of that thing? That's disgusting. Cram it, bird. Hop to a jack, drop your body, and head inside. How the hell do I do that? Oh, okay. Oh, dude. So, I guess this is just a way for you to enter different areas. Now you're like a little spider pumpkin. You can you can still use your roots to move around and double jump. Blah blah blah. Just a smaller version of good old pumpkin jet. Oh, okay. So I need to push this. So this must be the first puzzle of the game. <laughs> of course. Oh, okay. There you go. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy first puzzle. Not bad. Open sesame. Crash Boondicoot. What? Crash Boondicoot? That's an achievement. Pretty cool. Not to uh, everyone's favorite mascot. to see if there's any skulls gotta have them all yeah I got 10 10 so far Yeah, I think that the developers for this game like timed it to come out at a perfect time. Because it's almost Halloween, of course. And this game is like perfect, perfect to play for Halloween.
I like that the crow is like uses like your uh, projectile weapon. making me think that there's like a uh, crow head here somewhere ah, I guess there's nothing here <clears throat> Mad scientist laboratory like uh... Lucky 13 baby Smooth smooth gameplay Lost, lost here for a little bit, but I think I'm supposed to go over here, maybe. Was I just here? I don't know. I don't think so. Kicking some straw ass here. I guess I'm supposed to kill like the boss, which is a just a big ass scarecrow. Anything here? Nope. Is this where I came in from? One of these things about these uh 3D games, it's like, sometimes you just don't know where to go. There's no map, so you can't really reference the map. But, I think it might be over here. Let's, let's go and take a look. Laboratory. Where do I go from the laboratory though? Okay, maybe. Was one I knew it was around here somewhere. Sometimes you just have to platform your way out of these these places. Yeah. 
Dang. Big flames everywhere. I'm not supposed to get out of there until I kill something. Something big, maybe the boss. You gotta get the flap out of here. Flap out of here, Jack. Okay. Love it. I like when games mix it up like this. Just makes it a little bit more fun. I was about to run into that fire. Making some progress here, guys. Oh, that looks trippy. The water looks trippy. Wow, you wrecked the place, Jack, but I didn't see that awful scarecrow, so we must be back in the fields. Just means I gotta go and get him. From the fields? Go. Who goes there? Show yourself. There he is. Call, call. He's just as menacing as always. Don't be craving. It's just a box standard scarecrow. Did he see me? Please tell me he didn't see me. <laughs> oh well. Look who's here. Back for more fun, little birdie. Call. He saw me. Stop waiting yourself. As for you, it's time you hopped away. I heard you were skulking around here, Jack. The wonder monster's not cutting it for the old man, huh? I have my own business, Scarecrow. If you don't get out my way, I won't mind turning you into Kindling. The devil has the gall to send some wayward soul to do our job for us. Well, we'll show him. You humans are good for living or dead. Imagine that. I'll bury you again, you wretch. That was easy enough. New weapon. Yeah, buddy. New weapon. Digging this game so far, guys. The genius trickster who could fool even the devil himself has returned to the mortal realm. 
armed with a brand new body and his soul cruelly bound to a festering pumpkin, Jack has been joined by his stoic guide, the Owl, and commandeered the services of a cowardly crow to fight on his behalf. But there must be no more time for fun and games. Jack and his companions of the night must embark upon their quest to slay the wizard. With Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel, the Owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. For at the heart of the mountain, through a network of ancient mines, lies a powerful secret. <laughs> Man, these Halloween vibes are for reals, guys. It is awesome. Oh yeah, man, this this new weapon is dope. Open inventory. Oh, okay, so I can change. See, I, I don't want to change into that stupid shovel. Who's about to kill that damn owl? Hoo hoo! Here we are, and not a second behind schedule. What is this place? These old mines are bringing with brimming with power. It's the devil's belief that deep in these tunnels lies a key to our enemy's plot. So here, so we're here to take it first and get the drop on whoever's looking for it too. Call, call! This place gives me the willies. Remind me why I'm still here again. Because you're still useful to me, and I'll pummel you if. You if you even try to flap off all this all this old mine equipment is rusted to bits but these tunnels are solid hop to it jack that's what i'm saying i'm trying to hop to it if you would just stop talking to me i'm playing i'm playing guys i'm playing the owl is my friend Gonna have a look see around to see if I can find a secret like this skull right here. Oh, okay. So it resets. Every level has 20 skulls in it. In the last level, I only got about 15 of them, I think. So that's good to know. I really don't like this damn fire. Like my spin attack has been replaced. Crow, crow, crow. Crow skull, I should say. <laughs> I thought that was like an NPC. I was going to talk to it. What is up there? I don't know. I'm just going to let it slide. Oh no, water water down below. You know how it is with water. I get a running start here. Oh, why does nothing stay dead around here? I'm not quite sure about that, my dude. I 
think it has something to do with the devil. Digging these controls though, man. Really responsive. And in a game like this, where like a lot of it is platforming, control tight controls are a must. So I think that this uh, this game definitely has that nailed down. So far, so good. I'm not finding the game too difficult. But I'm pretty sure that you can adjust the difficulty for the game. In the settings. Hope you're ready for some cardio, Jack. We'll have to blow those rocks away with this. Okay. Oh, spider, spider time. supposed to do with this thing oh, I need to get it up there somehow oh, what is this dude oh dang forgot about this go up there I'm thinking it does or else why would they even have this thing blocking uh, maybe not I'm just gonna oh dang it that's what I didn't want but I guess that little thing Dang it. I guess that, that it tells you exactly where it's going, so. It's not the controls fault, it's like 100% my fault. I know that I don't have enough strength to, to vault it over there. I'm thinking it goes this way. Same deal as the other one. There we go. I hope this is cool. Easy enough. Ha! Achievement unlocked. Bomberman. Very nice. I'm loving how it pays homage to these old games. 
Bomberman. Everybody loves Bomberman. I can't really connect to Bomberman though because I've never got, I never got into it. It was uh, a game that I never played growing up. Yeah, so far I've seen Bomberman, Crash Bandicoot. What other homages am I gonna see? Oh yeah, uh, and the uh, the wizard in this game looks like looks a lot like uh, the wizard from Final Fantasy One, and of course, medieval. Huge, huge medieval influence. to get out of here. If this emo canary doesn't cram a worm in it, I use him for pillow stuffing. Emo canary. Nice. That's what that's my new name for crows, emo canaries. If you go anywhere in that cart, you'll kill us all. I fail to recall when you when yo were calling the shots. When yo were calling the shots. Minor typo. Minor typo. It's all good though. It'll take more than this rusty old sardine tray to do me in. That Malfian's. Mali. Malfian. Malfia sense is going in your report. Jack, you madman. Plain and simple, Jack. Don't give up. You know. Okay, I could I could say that this minecart segment is influenced on influenced by Indiana Jones. Of course, the Temple of Doom, minecart race. Definitely, definitely influenced. Or it could not be, but it just kind of reminds me of it. But knowing that the um, developers snuck some other pop culture references in here, I wouldn't be surprised. License to drive. The two Corys. Yeah, baby. The two Corys. <laughs> These developers are my kind of people. Definitely my kind of people. And of course, those are the achievements that I'm getting in this game. In that vibe, guys, I'm telling you. Halloween is almost here. And this game is just like perfect, perfect for Halloween. 
Oh, maybe this game is uh, gonna be one of these new classics. Not just for Halloween, but you know, for the system that it's on. And this game is it's out right now for PC through Steam, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. I don't know if they're gonna drop it on the PS4. But you know how these things go. Exclusivity doesn't last long. Everybody wants to make money. The best way to do that is to release it everywhere, right? Now, I've got some of these things, these crow heads, these crow skulls. What I don't know, oh, well, there's, there's one up there. What I don't know is when the hell am I gonna run into the the shopkeeper? I need I need the shopkeeper to to come out so I can buy some stuff. Up here, something's up here. Could it be said shopkeeper, maybe? Dang it, I keep forgetting about those fires. I've not learned my lesson yet. Every word's burning. Oh no. Why am I saying, oh no? It's like I'm dead, anyways. I'm saying, oh no, that I have to climb up here again. There's no way around it, right? It's gonna have to bite the bullet. I might have left the crow skull or two out there, but it's all good. It is all good. Yeah, definitely the first rule of uh, any platform brawler like this is, is to get the dude that's shooting at you. It's like platforming 101. What is here first? I'm gonna go here first. So in this game, there's there's probably a secret over here. Oh, 
Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> what did that do, though? Gramophone discovered. Okay. What does that do? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what this gramophone is all about. I didn't even know that that was what that machine was called. A gramophone. There's something new every day, I guess. Just for me, way I'm Jack, the mercenary of the devil himself. Nice. I'm the guardian of this place and the power it contains. Heed this warning, Jack. If you do not leave willingly, you will be removed from here in a thousand pieces. Yeah. Who the heck was that? Talk up uh, your restless. Yeah, what am I supposed to do here? I guess let's just make a run for it. Getting roasted by those mine carts. Can a bird get vertigo? Okay, if you guys know that reference, you guys are OGs because the birds and vertigo were two of Alfred Hitchcock's best movies. Is there nothing? There's definitely some challenge to these uh, platforming. I saw I know I saw like a a skull here somewhere did I mention don't touch the cart because don't touch the cart okay, okay I got that no Now, how in the H do I get out? Do I get off without? Oh, okay. Do I need to go there? No, I should probably go there. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Right, okay. I just wanna get to the second boss here. Almost dead. Oh man, almost. All right, all right, all right. 
I died three times. You're gonna die in a game like this. There's no shame in dying. Unless you're doing a no death run and then you just totally suck, but for now I'm not doing a, a no death run. I'm just giving you guys a flavor of this game. I'm glad I died, actually. I missed that crow's uh, skull in my first run. Well, actually, my second run. Enough with the damn minecarts. I'm not going for a ride yet. I want to see if I can find the... Am I supposed to... I walk over in there let's let's see if I let's see if I fall yeah okay <laughs> I just wanted to uh, explore a little bit I guess I'm gonna go for a ride oh okay so that makes sense Yeah, the combat in this game is not too difficult at all. I would say it's um, probably a lot harder on a more difficult level. Rather, a more difficult setting. Now, what gets you in this game is uh, platforming. Definitely the platforming. But it's not insanely like frustrating platforming. I mean, the controls, as I said before, are pretty damn good in this game. And if you time your jumps and stuff, you'll have no problem with this game. I really, I really like it that... That, um, this game incorporates boss fights and stuff. Oh, finally, finally get to see this dude again. So I have 22. Oh, so I guess they carried over from the other level. The cowboy do I want samurai? The Inspector. Ooh. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Sweet. Okay, so it's just skins that you buy. I get it. I get it. Not bad. Not bad. That's the, the whole fun. Customization. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna, before I go up here, I'm gonna see what's down here. Save my, save my game here. For when I pick it up next time. So it says I have 13 skulls. But it says I have three. like you can only use the skulls in the previous level or the skulls that you found in the previous level to buy stuff with
don't know. Oh, this dude again. Heed the second warning, Jack, for there will be no third. Turn back while you still can. I have no, I have nothing to fear of you, ghost. For your sake, Jack, I hope that's true. Escape that damn fire. Going crow, uh, crow skull happy here. Gotta find them all. Puzzle time. Lever, dude. Let's see.
concentrating here, guys. Yep, that's how it goes. I like these little um, puzzle levels. It's a great way to break up the gameplay. Trying to get that monster generator, man. We be fast and they be slow. Ghostbusters reference, guys. <laughs> if you know when they say that in that movie, let me know in the comments. Ghostbusters. This. this is the end for you. You have passed to the point of no return. Twice I've warned you, Jack, and yet I'm still here. If you want me gone, you better be prepared to throw me out. Come get me, Jack. Let's do this. Let's do this, Brutus.
Concentrating. Can't be a punk. Let this dude beat me. Oh, I fell in the damn water. <laughs> the shame, guys. The shame. him with the bombs. It's the only way to hurt him. Good the music, man. This game's got some good music. Some good tunes. Make it easy. Ghostbuster, that's the achievement, baby. Ghostbuster. So, what now? A commendable display, Jack. That body of yours is surely proving its worth. It's been toppled. I've been toppling brutes, brutes his size since I was a lad. Really, what on earth do they feel? What do they, what on earth do they feed kids where you grew up? Yes, yes. Well done. Now get a flap on. We're here for a reason. If I'm not mistaken, this mountain was once home to a tribe of powerful sorcerers. They must have left this tablet behind as their last testament. This is it. I came all this way for a big rock with some words on it. Is that a tablet or an obelisk? Hmm. Dark darkest hours of man champion will be summoned could you pick up the pace did you leave your glasses back in the nest or something aha yes yes I see now the amulet of fire ember the amulet of final ember who just saying it makes me feel powerful the last line is unreadable but man's champion needs this amulet to muster the power to dispel the devil's curse rocks and jewelry this is this is turning out to be a pretty lame job uh, so I might be missing something, but where's the amulet supposed to be? Why it's just down mm -hmm. What is it bird? Where is the blasted thing? It's already gone and rightly so What the car is that? Talking birds and now talking swords. Yeah, this is definitely a lame job. I must say this is very peculiar In case you haven't noticed this place is pretty lousy for magic stuff. Now the sword is talking to me. No wonder people have been tripping over themselves to swipe that amulet. And you, you've got a lot to answer for, you charlatan. Whoo! Well, I never. How dare you, you, you oversized butter knife. If you call that mess of a fight I just saw commendable, I thoroughly question your tutelage. You gourd face, who are you? 
I am Jack, and and I like you already. Well, get used to me. If you're going to fight, you will learn to do it right. I will teach you. Wait, did you miss two? Did you two miss the part where this thing said we were too late? Someone took the amulet? Who? Who? Take it easy. No need to yell the leather off my handle. Your friend came and I took the amulet. I assume you distracted that awful phantom so he could get here ahead of you. Our friend? Greetings. Oh, the Final Fantasy Black Wizard. I'm guessing you don't know each other. Oh, I know more than enough now. So you are the pariah, the champion of the devil that the devil himself has sent for me. Frankly, I'm disappointed. Show yourself, you coward. I don't think so. I'm already long gone. I only stuck around to study your fight with my associate in the mines. Very nightly, you, you really do put on a show. I'll be more than happy to give you an encore when I rip that face off your skull. And I'll pry that amulet from your cold dead hands. We'll see about that. For now, this bobble requires further study to access its power. Perhaps you should join me. We can study it together and break this piffling little curse. This guy really creep gives me the creeps. He left an innocent spirit to be completely destroyed just to watch you fight. I may be evil and I may work for the devil, but you, sir, are a jerk. Consider my proposal. There's so much more I want to study about you, Jack. That's it. This just got personal. Nice. Got a sweet new sword. Great Jack, master of trickery, finally has had the tables turned on him. Upon reaching the tablet of the heart of the mountain, Jack bitterly discovers that he has been too late. The clever, cold-hearted wizard, humanity's champion, now possesses a powerful amulet and is one step closer to usurping the devil's rule over the world and breaking the curse. But there is still hope for our harrowing heroes. Jack's epic duel with the wizard's indentured spirit catches the attention of a magical sword. Who vows to teach him greater Love this the way that they tell the story. Come on like a cartoon between himself and the enemy. Jack and his companions rush from the mountain and follow the wizard's trail of magic into the wilderness. And I think that this is gonna do it for this let's play guys. Uh, might stream this later on in this month closer to Halloween. Oh, check the sword out. Pretty sweet. Looks like I'm in a swamp or something like that. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of Pumpkin Jack. If you haven't subscribed to the Big Retro Show, please go ahead and do so right now. Let's connect on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you next time on the Big Retro Show. Thank you for watching this playthrough. Peace.